hope you all are doing great. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the dental programs that are open for everyone and the dental programs that only accept permanent residents. I actually decided to make this video um, based on a few requests from people that reached out to me uh, on Instagram and they asked um, about certain schools that there is a lot of misconception about. So I've seen many posts on Facebook uh, indicating that a certain school only accept permanent residents. However, I have so many friends in this school, in this same school that are going there and attending the program and they are not residents. So I decided, I decided to make this video to share like what I know and uh, my knowledge and then also share um, all the information that are available on the school's website and on the um, on the IDEA website. Um, I know you guys are super busy right now and it's a stressful time of the cycle. So I hope that I can help a bit and let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through as much schools as I can do with this video. And let's start with the University of Alabama. Now for the University of Alabama, they actually do indicate like in ADA website, they that they do prefer US citizens, people that are um, holding like a green card or people that are um, like having a, a, where was that? I was reading somewhere, but they will consider all well qualified uh, candidates. So um, I'm not sure where does that put you, but um, from my experience, I would, if I were applying to schools and I wasn't permanent residents, I would avoid applying to schools that are requesting residents unless I have like a really, really impressive profile and a very competitive um, resume. That's the only way I would apply to school that they say clearly that they prefer permanent residents, but will consider all well-qualified um, students. Now for uh, California schools, uh, all California schools, um, and I know that a few of them, there, is, there are some misconceptions regarding some a few of California schools. They do all accept people with different um, like uh, visa status with different, um, with different whether they were permanent residents or whether they're not. The only exception to this is uh, Western University. Now, as of last year, um, I remember that Western University accepted only permanent residents uh, since they opened the program a few years ago. However, this year they do not indicate that anywhere. They don't have in their website that they only they are only accepting residents, and also they don't have that in ADO website. And one more thing is that I've noticed that one person did ask the school, like in the frequently asked questions, whether they accept people with H4 visa, and they said that they do. So it indicate indicate that the school are uh, considering all applicants. I would go ahead and give the school a call just to make sure. But um, from what I'm seeing, that they don't have anywhere in their they don't have that anywhere. They don't have this requirement anywhere in their website anymore. For University of Colorado, I've also heard many people say that they do accept only permanent residents. However, um, they don't have that anywhere in their website. They don't have that anywhere in ADA website. And most importantly, I do, as of last year, I do have some people there that are not residents and they are still attending the program at Colorado University. So um, they do consider people from all um, visa status and from all uh, immigration status. Now for uh, University of Florida, they, uh, they do have that also like in their website that they only accept people with a U.S. citizenship. So at the time of application, you need to submit a proof of citizenship like U.S. So yeah, for University of Florida, you do need to submit uh, a proof of uh, your residency. For um, University of Iowa, they also indicate in their website that they um, do prefer people with, uh, the preference will be giving to U.S. citizen and a green card holder or any asylum or refugee status. And then 
Univer UIC. Now, I thought that that was really interesting what I've learned about UIC today because as of last year, UIC also accepted people only that are permanent residents or a green card holder. However, I've noticed this year that they don't have that anywhere in their website. They don't have that anywhere on ADA website that their preference is giving to people with um, permanent residency. And then on their website, they have like a, a part for visa status. And they said that the College of Dentistry is accepting applications from students who currently live in the U.S and hold a valid visa status. So that's awesome for this school because UIC accept um, like many students, uh, I think 50 up to 52. So that's really great that they are accepting people with different visa status. Um, for Boston University, they also uh, accept people with different uh, like residency status, whether you were a resident or you're not. Um, they don't uh, like have a preference for that. For um, Tufts University, they only accept people that are permanent residents and they have that on their website. They say that applications from those without U.S. citizenship or permanent residency will not be processed or consider considered for an interview. So they have it clear on their website. They're not saying that they are accepting um they, that all well qualified candidates will be considered but they're saying that you will not be processed if you do not have a uh, proof of residency so for university of new england they also mention in their website that um the candidates must provide proof of u.s citizenship and or a green card or any other appropriate immigration uh, documentation and it's, their it's the student's responsibility or the candidate's responsibility to maintain their legal status for the duration of the program. Um, for the University of Minnesota, and that was one of the schools that I really wanna talk about, um, I've heard so many people saying that University of Minnesota only accept people with permanent residency, and that is wrong. I know many people at the school who are not permanent residents, and it's actually it's a really great school and uh the people there are very nice so if you feel that you have any questions or like whatever you want to ask about university of minnesota i've seen many of um, Minnesota students like post a lot on Facebook so you can reach out to them and they would be able to help you because I remember when I applied to Minnesota I did reach out to a few of them and they were able they were so nice and helping so it's one of the uh, it's one of the it's one of the advantages of this school and they do accept people with regardless their residency status Okay, now for the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, they say on their on the AD website that you must be either a US citizen, US permanent resident, Canadian resident, or eligible for a US student F1 visa to apply for this program. So I, I really like it when the school have that like you clear so clear and so obvious on their website. So you don't have to go through like the frequently asked questions and go through a lot of places. University of Buffalo accept uh people regardless their residency status university of oklahoma um have that clear on their website also that the eligibility is restricted to permanent residents and u.s citizens who have completed a dental degree from outside country um outside the u.s so they also prefer permanent residents university of pittsburgh and virginia commonwealth they both say that they do um they do prefer students that are residents uh actually they don't say that they do prefer they say that they do want a, a proof of residency and a proof of like a valid visa status or something like that however they will consider all applicants and the same goes for virginia commonwealth university for University of Washington, they also accept people regardless their uh, residency status. For UPenn, for um, UPenn actually, like as of last year, they 
did say that they were accepting people with regardless their residency status however i've noticed that they have a section for that this year and they say that they only are accepting applications from students who currently reside in the u.s and hold a valid visa status so i'm assuming that they are considering all applications they're just they want like a valid visa status for you to be considered um and i guess that's no. it if you have any more questions about a certain school that i did not mention in this video please reach out to me and i will be i'll be really happy if i can help um and good luck with your applications and i really hope to see you in my next video